So patients are concerned um, by the need, as, as the previous speakers have said, by the need for repeated injections associated with downtime uh, even with very good injectors, with, with hyaluronic acids, they can get bruising, they can get swelling. Um, they don't want this. They don't want to have to come back and have this done every six months. Uh, patient satisfaction is a key driver for customer loyalty, for patient loyalty and return visits. And in, in, in this, uh, this survey in the US, 90% of US physicians felt that having a longer lasting filler would be beneficial for their patients. So there, there is a need. Are permanent fillers without risk? Of course they're with risk, because they are long-lasting. But we use breast implants, and we've seen recently in Europe and around the world, the chaos that has ensued by a poor quality implant. And it is, it is very important that when we look at long-lasting products, and we should look at all products, that we ensure that we're using a very safe and a very reputable product that's been well-tested. But we use all of these products. As a plastic surgeon, I use these products week in and week out. And they do have risks. But I mitigate those risks by safe practice and make sure that I'm using the safest products that are available. That doesn't mean I don't do these procedures. Permanent fillers exist in all aspects of medicine. We use hip and knee prostheses. We use facial implants. We use cements in orthopedics and dentistry. We use cardiac stents. The benefit of these, of these procedures far outweigh the risks, but they have significant risks. Acrimid should be considered in a similar manner. It has the same potential risks, but also the significant benefits. We need to ensure that when you use a product like Acrimid that's long-lasting, that you pay good attention to good medical principles and ensure that you provide a safe treatment. It's not a Cavalier injectable. I've had a lot of discussions with a company about removing Aquamid from this injectable market because it's not an, an injectable, as we said. It's an implant that happens to come in a syringe. 